What is going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Anton Ray, coming at you guys with another video. Before we go in, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Uh, this is going to be a quick video about shooting indoors versus shooting outdoors. But first and foremost, I want to say last night was a good night. Alabama defeated Georgia. Roll Tide. Um, I live in Georgia, as you guys all know, so a lot of my friends are Bulldogs fans and they are not answering my text or my phone. They're playing dead, but it's all good. All right, let's get back to the subject here. So uh, again, this is going to be about indoor shooting versus outdoor shooting. Um, and I'll just kind of give you some of the pros and cons. So let's start with um, indoor shooting uh, because it's going to be much quicker to get to the pros and cons of um, indoor shooting. All right, so indoor shooting, uh, the biggest pro um, to indoor shooting, in my opinion, is that it kind of gives you an idea of what your home defense gun would sound like if you actually had to use it indoors versus outside. Because if someone kicks in your door at 3 in the morning and they breach um, your door and get inside your house, it's probably going to go down inside your home. So it's kind of good to know what that sounds like, what those decimals sound like. Even if you have earmuffs on, you just want to kind of know what it sounds like, and you know what the you know if there's any flash or anything like that, so you kind of know what your weapon uh, sounds like and performs like indoors. Um, another uh, benefit to me um, is as far as indoors is zero in and a red dot on a pistol. You can see your red dot much better indoors versus outdoors. I mean, there's been several times I go outdoors; it's so sunny. Uh, you can barely find the red, the, you know, the red dot um, because of, you know, the sunniness outside. Um, but those are pretty much the only advantages, really, uh, I can think of as far as an indoor range versus an outdoor range. Let's talk about the cons of an indoor range now. Uh, the cons of an indoor range is that uh, you're limited, uh, first and foremost, to what kind of ammo you can use, believe it or not. So if you like to shoot AKs... Um, you're not going to be able to use uh, any type of steel ammo. And that's what AK was designed to run off of, actually steel. You can use brass, but your AK is going to like steel much better than brass. But in an indoor range, you're, they're not going to allow you to shoot uh, steel ammo. Um, as far as shotguns, some um, indoor ranges don't allow shotgun shooting at all. Period. Period. Point blank. There are some that only allow pistols to be uh, shot. I've been to one of those before. Um, but most um, indoor ranges that do allow shotguns, they're not going to allow you to shoot bird shot. They'll probably let you do slugs. Some won't allow uh, buckshot. And most but all don't allow you to shoot bird shot in indoor range. So um, you're limited to what you can shoot uh, for one thing. Uh, you can't do any type of drills where you transition from one target to the other. So, you know, if you like setting up targets outdoors, uh, like I do, um, you, you don't have that capability uh, indoors. Um, indoors also uh, limits you on what type of weapon you can use because long distance rifles, in my opinion, have no business in an indoor range. Why would you bring a 308 to an indoor, indoor range, a 6 5 Creedmoor, 300 Wind Mag? To me, it's a waste of time. I mean, you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, get what you're looking for or come to a good conclusion to how your gun works um, shooting it in a uh, short distance setting because indoor ranges are made for short range and not even intermediate range, you know, because mine is not even 100 yards by indoor range. I think it's about 40, you know, 30, 40 yards away. Um, so it's basically made for short range, uh, home defense weapons, uh, that kind of deal, um, in my opinion. I mean, you can, you know, use intermediate cartridges such as, let's say, two two three five five six seven six two by 39 300 blackout. I mean, you can come in there and test it, but you're going to get more outdoors if you're trying to see how much reach you can get. Um, but yeah... There's so many um, cons to um, an indoor range that can go on and on and on. Uh, but let's talk about the pros and cons of shooting outdoors. First and foremost, being able to shoot outdoors uh, gives you the capability to shoot what you want and in most cases, how fast you want. You know, some outdoor ranges are funny. Uh, by outdoor range, you know, they're pretty cool about that. Um, but outdoor also gives you the ability when you're shooting outdoors, you can do drills, you can do... Uh, three gun contests, 
Uh, you can shoot dragon's breath. You can't do any of that, um, you know, in an indoor range. And then also being outdoors, it gives you the ability, um, you know, to shoot long distance. I mean, you can shoot, you know, what you want long distance. The only con I can think of is that if it's a bad, a bad weather day, like it's been for me the last few days and you can't go outside, that's really the only con that I can think of of shooting, you know, outdoors versus shooting indoors. Um, outdoors is just going to be superior on every level. And again, I know a lot of people don't have the capability to shoot outdoors. Like I spoke with one of my friends who lives in Missouri and he told me that the closest outdoor range to him is about an hour and a half to two hours away. That is very, very far. And I definitely understand um, you're not being able to take that drive. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much, uh, you know, my opinion on it. Um, I like shooting outdoors more, but I am, I will definitely shoot indoors because I like doing my shotgun patterns, testings, actually indoors more uh, because a shotgun for what I'm using it for is going to be a short range weapon anyway. So I don't mind doing that, but I do like going outdoors and doing um, drills where you can transition from one target to the other. Another thing too is that you can ring still. There's nothing like shooting still. You get that bing bing sound. That's instant gratification. Uh, there's nothing wrong with shooting at paper targets. Paper targets is more precision, uh, but when you're shooting at still, it's just pure fun. It is just pure fun. And um, that is pretty much all I have. I'm sure you guys may have some things that I missed, um, but that is pretty much all uh, that I can think of in this video. Again, you know, what you guys prefer. Do you prefer shooting indoors or outdoors? And if you guys that have a, an outdoor range, I don't even really think this applies to you because if, I, if you have an outdoor range, why would you go to an indoor range? To be honest with you, uh, like that guy, the collector, I'm like, why did you make an indoor range in your home? I would prefer an outdoor range, but that's just me. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Two, eight, up. Oh.